at the Buffalo Spot in Southern California. It's my first time trying buffalo fries. Never had it before. It sounds so innovative. It looks so delicious. Let's give this a shot. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Southgate today in the Crossroads Plaza because I'm gonna be checking out another rockin' spot in LA County. I haven't really had buffalo wings in quite a while. I do like it and I found the spot that I've been wanting to come to for some time. Now what makes this restaurant pretty unique is that they have what's called buffalo fries. Have you guys ever heard of that? Because I've never tried it before. So today's gonna to be my first time trying their world famous buffalo fries at the Buffalo Spot. This isn't the only location. They do have quite a bit of these spots all around California, but this is actually a very nice location here in Southgate. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get some of those awesome world famous fries and some of those wings and shakes and all that good stuff. So stick all the way to the end if you wanna see the most amazing buffalo fries and wings experience on the internet. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. It's time to go in and get some of that awesome buffalo wings. Apparently it's been around since 2013, so it's almost nine years old, and it started out with a vision to make some of the most awesome, innovative buffalo dishes, the fries, for example. So with an attitude of prayer and perseverance, from what I heard, which is always so rockin', they were able to establish the first location in Long Beach, and since then, they have many locations that are open now around California and beyond. So this is one of the newer locations here with the same rockin' food. So let's check out how they make some of this stuff. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I think it's ready. Look at that golden brown color. Perfect. The chicken chimney about to be deep fried. Yeah, so this is like their version of a chimichanga. Yeah, french fries. Gotta have your fries with every meal. Look at that shake. Wow, and there's the shrimp. Yes, they do have seafood here as well. That is pretty rocking. Let's see, garlic or garlic parmesan. <laughs> and the shrimp goes on top of the fries. And which one is this one? Special sauce. Special sauce, okay, and also some special sauce. They also have the, the milkshake as well. So yes, they do have the house special milkshake, which everybody gets here as well. So I gotta definitely check this out. This is gonna be a cool process. This is the ice cream? Yes, vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream, okay. Starts with vanilla ice cream. Yes, look at that Red Bull. It's gonna definitely energize me. Oh yeah. Wow, that was a quick process. And top it off with some whipped cream. That's how I like it. Oh, it looks so good. It is always so exciting watching foods like fried chicken being made, fries, and they got fried shrimp, and the chimney chicken, and milkshakes. I can tell this is gonna be a good day for me. Yes, this is your ultimate fast food experience. A little bit of everything of their popular bestsellers here at this restaurant. I gotta first mention this shake, a Red Bull shake. Never had Red Bull before, never had a shake like this. This is gonna be truly fascinating to try this. These are the buffalo fries. As you can see, there are pieces of the fried chicken nuggets on top of it. So chicken over fries with a mango habanero sauce. And then this is something that I didn't expect, but they really recommended it to me. So I'm gonna try from their menu today, the shrimp fries. So yeah, it's uh, batter deep fried shrimp over fries with garlic Parmesan sauce and shaved uh, cheese on top. Wow, this one is pretty cool. This is their chicken chimis, which is a specialty here. It's almost like a chimichanga, it's deep fried. 
Look how crispy it looks, wow. And it comes with uh, chipotle sauce as well as their special house sauce. Red Bull shake, which is blue colored. Never had a blue colored shake before because part of what makes it unique is this Red Bull that they put inside of it. Let me tell you guys, this is the honest truth. I have never had Red Bull before in my life. I don't know what it tastes like. I've heard stories that it's supposed to be like caffeine on steroids, basically. Some people are addicted to it. They drink it all the time to get this energy rush in the morning. So yes, this is gonna be the first time I'm drinking a Red Bull of any flavor. Okay, carbonated. That's interesting. It has a blueberry flavor. That's why it's blue colored, obviously. Oh, okay, but I'm here to try the milkshake. That is a good milkshake. Very classic, it's creamy. Of course, there's ice cream inside. Kinda has that blueberry flavor. Yeah, first time ever having a blueberry milkshake. I've had strawberry before. Obviously chocolate and vanilla. First time with a Red Bull. So obviously, if you wanna have a milkshake that's really going to energize your body, yes, vitalizes body and energy, then you gotta go with the Red Bull shake. Obviously fries and chicken is not gonna taste the same when you take it home, so you have to try to eat as much of it as you can when you're at the store, and thankfully it's still pretty fresh, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. Now this one, it is kinda sweet because it has the mango habanero sauce on it, which means that it's gonna be kind of sweet, fruity, and just a tint bit of spicy but it's definitely very creamy because there's so much sauce that's over this thing. They have different flavors that you can get at this restaurant, so you don't have to go with mango habanero, but it's just the one that I guess is very popular with this, which is why they recommended it to me, and it's pretty good. Buffalo shrimp. Yeah, gonna get everything on here. Mmm, wow, that's good. I didn't come here for the shrimp, but I think the shrimp one was actually, it's my favorite of the two that I had so far. I just like shrimp. But what I really like about this particular recipe is the sauce that's over it, the garlic Parmesan sauce. That is my type of sauce, because I like sauces that are garlicky. I love it cheesy. So if you love that garlic, cheese, taste and flavor over the food, then yes, this one is the one you definitely need to get. Ah, oh, look at this one, the chicken shimmy. It's like a very big piece of fried tortilla with chicken stuffed inside of it, almost like a big egg roll. Outside, predictably, it's crispy, but then inside, you discover a whole magical world of that buffalo chicken. I mean, even without the sauce, it tastes pretty good. But yeah, definitely dip it in a lot of that sauce to enhance the flavor to the max. Wow, that's spicy. Ooh. Actually, not, not terribly spicy, but it's spicier than the other sauce, that's for sure. Yeah, this, this sauce is more for if you love spicy, you kind of like that sour, kind of tangy taste to it. I don't think I've ever even had a chimichanga of any kind before. Never, never had it in any restaurant before. This is the first time I've had some sort of a version of it. For this one, it makes for a good snack. It's not for the health conscious person since everything from the fries to the shrimp and the chicken, all deep fried. But hey, every once in a while, you gotta have fun eating some stuff like this, right? I mean, I dig it. I love French fries, I love buffalo wings, I love all the sauce. Yeah, so this is really my kind of food right here. But thankfully, I don't eat it every day. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a really awesome buffalo experience, whether in LA or all around California, then look out for the buffalo spot because this is gonna be one of the most enjoyable chicken fries experience you're gonna have in a fast food restaurant. So I'm here at the Southgate location, but they have other locations all around. But if you happen to be around 
uh, south gate. Then it's here. It's in a really nice parking lot. It's very uh, clean and beautiful inside and the staff here is so awesome. So yes, come here, check out this food and if you don't know what to order, just get what I got because these are some of the most popular things that are on the menu. My personal favorite, I think it's probably the shrimp one just because I like everything about this but even the chicken one is really good as well. So yeah, just look at the menu, see what sauces you like or what size you like and just have fun with it. Some of you guys have asked me, what do I do with the leftovers? It's pretty simple. I take it home and I try to finish as much of it as I can, no matter where I go. My philosophy, don't waste food. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Also comment on the section below because if you've been to this spot, any Buffalo spots, I'd love to hear your story. What do you guys think about it? And finally subscribe because more of these awesome food and travel adventures are coming out. I hope you have a rocking day today, folks, and I'll see you in the next rocking adventure.